Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright, so yeah, we're expecting this guy to shoot magical beams at us. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting. We don't really have a ranged option here. So here we go. And I immediately stepped into a trap. I decided not to search, because I didn't want him to have a bunch of free shots at me. And that's what happened. Luckily, we did not get dungeon fever. And he's concentrating on the snails. Okay, there's more. That's good. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we survived. Alright, we're going to rest. Grab that. Then, search for sure. Grab these fine arrows. And, uh... I didn't have anything else equipped over there. Nice, more gold, always welcome. Take the leather gloves. All right, a sword. Hang on to that, because that could be a, uh, a pretty decent weapon, actually, for us. Especially if we wield it with both hands. And we set off a trap. And we crit failed while trying to disarm it and fell back into it. So, if there are enemies up here, they should be heading this way, I would think. Yep. All right. There we go. Okay, let's rest real quick. Just get that HP back. Cover the trap. Always nice to discover them that way, and not the usual way, which is stumbling into them. Alright, was that the whole floor? I guess it was. Alright. So, we're sitting on a decent amount of gold. Always good to see that. Now let's identify the sword. It is not cursed. Wonderful. So there we go. Um, let's see about these gloves. Uh, oh, that's right, I forgot. These are enchanted. So, I well, hopefully these will be worth more than ten gold. And no, it's four. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know what the purpose of the grass is, and I don't really want to spend ten gold identifying it. And let's see. That's right, the Vam braces. Immune to paralysis plus one frost resistance. We're gonna buy those. Absolutely. And let's just take a quick look. Here. Ring of outcasts. May contain up to three different enchants instead of one. Uh, Habs experience gain. This effect is not stacked. The Ring of Newbury uh, grants a free search action and allows the wielder to reroll failed search checks. Yikes. That could be helpful. No magical powers. Auras make you immune to their effects. That was disease. Enchants an item. I wish I could afford that, obviously. Alright. So be it. Alright, let's go back in. Alright. Oh, lava. So that's going to make things really fun if one of the bridges collapses under our feet. Okay, looking forward to that. It might be better to... I wonder if you can even try to jump over the bridge. If you fail, you just land on the bridge, hopefully. And then have to make another check to see if it breaks. Eh. This is not good. Oh, 
Well, at this point, I guess I'm going to throw the bottle of uh, the Potion of Confusion at him and hope it has an effect. It hits him, but all damage is resisted, so that didn't help us. And we're probably going to die. I cannot believe that. Uh, so, I would love to eat and rest, but that's clearly not going to happen, is it? I'm assuming she's going to shoot me in a second. She's actually cool. She's a marksman! But I don't have a bow! So we could learn slow and steady, which is a bow skill, but we don't have a bow. So I, I really don't think I should spend my talent point on that. And then I realized that there was a bow here. The problem is it's a branch. It's the lowest uh, tier bow, but... Uh oh. I was going to say that's better than nothing, but is it? Okay, so. What's my move here? I guess this way. Let her keep shooting. And then I'll wait. And wait. Oh, I thought he was going to move there. Alright, nice. Alright, we managed to work through that. That's good. Okay, now let's eat and drink. And rest. Um, I I don't want to cross this again, but well, we do have the fine arrows. Now this could be cursed. I just I don't care. We need a, a ranged option. That's what we're going with. And there's more arrows down there, but again, I don't want to test that bridge necessarily. Not right now. I don't want to get that those bolts either. Okay, that dog, where did that dog go? That I just saw. That was weird. Snails, are you serious? There is a dog there. I wish I had that stake that I had on that other run. We could make him our friend. And that would be wonderful. Gold is always good. I'm guessing he would stumble into a trap. If we just follow him, we should be alright. But now I've lost track of him. What do we have here? Hopefully some cool stuff. Some scrolls. A tome. And a fine sword. Once that's identified, that would be great to use. I had to take a chance with the bow. I didn't even bother trying to identify it. Alright. So now we're obviously going to do this. And it's just a branch. That's what it is. It's not a very good bow, but it is a bow. And I guess we're compensating a little bit with the fine arrows. Uh, I want to identify the tome. First, a tome of mirror image is worth 27. Thank you. Scroll of Light, and Scroll of Light. And those are both, well, well one's Adept, so we're going to get seven total. Nope, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Now we're going to identify the Fine Sword. It's not cursed, so we're going to swap that out. And we're going to need a little help with the bow, I guess, so I'm going to enchant it. Chance to bestow curse, D3 physical damage, or D6 shock damage. I mean, we're going to go with shock damage. That's just how that is. That's worth 20. 6, not bad. Not too bad. Um, we're okay here. We'll use mushrooms if we need to. And let's see. Is there anything else we need to do? I don't think so. Alright. You know what? Actually, let's just let's use the money because... Never know if we'll even come back here. Let's enchant the helm. Or you know what? No, let's enchant the, the fine sword. Chance to confuse, plus one strength, chance to deafen. We'll go with confuse. Alright, cool. So there have already been a couple of times when things didn't look so good on this run, but we've managed to pull it out so far. I'm pretty surprised. But I may have spoken too soon. Just remember, we gotta cross these bridges, but 
Not too bad. We're going to get some stuff here. Not sure that's a large melee weapon. Uh, let's see. Right. All right, what do we have? Eight of these left? Okay, just making sure. Okay. There we go, level five. Put our stamina up to nine. There we go. Uh, let's eat and rest. More arrows, that's good. A potato, but I don't want to worry about identifying it or anything like that. We're already going to have to do that with the mushrooms. This will be a good spot to eat the mushrooms too. If it comes down to that on this floor. Which it very well may. Alright, the way he moved towards me makes me think this guy is not cool. Um, but just to test it, I'm going to step back. Yeah, he's not cool. Alright. Take that gold and the scroll. Thank you. Uh, we have five arrows equipped currently. I believe that's the floor. Uh, I don't think it's worth going back, though. I don't want to cross the lava bridges again. I'm not even really going to make any money. Alright, snails, please move. I don't like the heartbeat sound that we're getting, and they're not moving either. Right, drink and rest. What? Oh my goodness. How are we alive? You can't fully rest while enemies are nearby. That's not good. Not, not good at all. Okay, where? Can I rest here? Okay, all right, okay. Five arrows. Nice and easy now. Oh, no. Okay. This doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> all right. It's okay. It's okay. Zero talent, eh. You know, that. I wonder if that has to do directly with the, the talents you learn. I never thought of that for some reason. Alright, okay, agility. And yes, one day we will try a strength run and all that kind of stuff, but... I feel like I have to get somewhere with the agility run first. Put that first point into agility, speaking of agility. Alright, arrows. That's good. Excellent. All right. Um, not. I mean, we could sell these arrows, but I mean, there's nothing to identify. I mean, there's really no reason to go back to town. 
Well, I don't remember if right-clicking on him is going to cost me a turn. Like if they tell me he doesn't want to talk to me. I wonder if that's going to cost me a turn. Well, we're going to try to find out if he's hostile or not. The Bowman is not interested in what you have to say. Okay, so he is definitely hostile. Then he, oh. I was going to say, why is he moving away? Well, he's a ra he's an archer, of course. There we go. Excellent. All right, a bow, an early bow. How close is this thing that's making that noise is what I want to know. I'm going to eat. Okay, there it is. You've got to be kidding me. It critted me. <laughs> uh, right when we find a bow. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Chain of embraces. Okay. Agility gets the first point. 21 gold, that's very nice. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong movement button. I don't know what's up with the feathers. I keep forgetting to look that up. Added spalders. Not gonna bother with the uh, plate helm. And we stepped into a trap. Did I check this? I did that. Okay, that's right. Alright, so we're gonna go back to town at this point. Because we have 21 gold, and we have two items here, so we're going to identify the chain of embraces. They are not cursed. And we're going to identify the padded spalders, not cursed. All right. That works. All right, let's eat and drink. Right, level three, talent point, rest, more van braces. Could really use a uh, a new weapon. Uh, I'm not going to use any of those abilities right now. Pass on that. There's a fine mace. That's cool. I like that. That potion up. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we're still sitting on well a single gold coin. I might just take a chance with this thing. It might be cursed, but it doesn't matter. All right. All right. That guy has a pickaxe, or as the game calls it, a digger. Oh my... And it's damaged? And it did... Eight damage? What? Man. Alright, uh, we gotta eat again. Nope, we have to drink again. There we go. Damaged digger. I just... Oh, we have two gold. Look out. We're gonna buy everything. Uh, 
that's large. Plate bambrays is not our style. Padded boots. You know I like the closed helmets only. Sticks there. Worth two gold, but I mean that's the that's the level of gold we're we're dealing with here. And that's of course damaged. Otherwise I might have picked that up. Alright. So we have, yeah, two gold, plus two, maybe if we're lucky, if they buy the sticks, that would be four. That just does us no good at this point. Can't rest while enemies are nearby. Gold and that right there for sure. Rest. Okay. Things are looking a little better now. We do have a talent point. Again, but... I don't, I just don't see myself using those skills this time around. I'd rather find a campfire, to be perfectly honest. Because I, if I remember correctly, that's where the dual wield uh, skill is. Stamina is going up. You failed to pick the lock on the chest and its trap has sprung. Let's eat. Whoops. Oh, man. Oh, I thought that would have put it on automatically. Okay, don't do that. There we go. Okay, gold. Love it. Do we not have? Okay, we got it. We got it. Alright, I think we cleared the dungeon. Alright, very nice. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Let's identify this amulet. Grants immunity against fire effects. Yep. Leather armor, not cursed. We already have spalters. These probably won't be worth anything, so I'm gonna... Whoops, I'm gonna get rid of them. Those are worth two gold. Uh, identify these padded boots. They are blessed. Which I suppose is the opposite of cursed. And, uh... Identify this scroll disorder. That is worth 20. Now, we have two potions we could identify also. But, there's a bow. And we just bought it. Hopefully we're going to find some arrows. That would be nice. I don't think we can afford any. But we can, actually. And correct them. All right, now we got to reset the dungeon. Uh, and I just, honestly, I don't see any way we could survive this quest, but there's really not a point in skipping it, I don't think, because this is going to unlock something for us to change our future experiences. So I, think, I just think it's worth trying it. But we're going to have to try it next time. So thank you for hanging out, everybody. I really appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you guys next time.